Here we are again, having a deep conversation about what does it take to grow a business that is predictable and really drives beyond the competition. Today we look at the big challenge between co-founders and even some CEOs and COOs. Here's what it is. I've had many conversations with these kinds of people that really get to the heart of what's going on behind the scenes. This video is all about behind the scenes, so I thought I would just tell you like it is. A lot of co-founders and CEOs and COOs are not aligned. And what I mean by that is they have different skill sets and different personalities, different strengths, even different worldviews. And that's what makes them so great together. But what's missing is a deeper sense of alignment. They're not really talking about what they need to talk about. From what I've seen, there's always one person inside this partnership, if you will, that believes culture is really important and one that believes it's not. Someone believes that sales is really important and someone believes operations is really important. Someone may believe that, you know, we got to focus on project A and someone may believe that they're focusing on project B is the way we move forward. Now this happens, but what I see a lot of these partners doing is they struggle over how to move forward together, how to truly find alignment. And that really does break my heart because when I see founders that are you know, capable of working together in collaboration and really finding a deep sense of connection between each other, instead, there's more resistance, there's tension. And you have to make sure that you're not doing this um, so that others can see. And you may try to you know, cover it up or hide it, but it really will break your business because people will learn that this is the way it is. Now, what's even more dangerous is if one person out of that partnership typically wins the battle. If one person is always more persuasive, more charismatic, puts bit, put together a better argument, then they usually win and the other person feels a little bit uh, neglected. Recently, I was having a conversation with a COO who felt burned out and the CEO didn't quite get it. They thought this was just a phase, we should just put our heads down and get to work. Well, they were never really having a conversation about what was going on between the two of them. They were never really getting to the heart of it. This big challenge in leadership was breaking the business and they didn't even know it. Now, I won't give you the details of this because this is a private conversation between me and, and someone else, but this happens quite a bit. This isn't a one-off thing. Running a business in a partnership, whether it be co-founders or CEO and COO, really is a hard thing. And if you focus on the work, it'll only take you so far. You've got to focus on each other and the relationship. You've got to have real conversations. I was uh, watching from the outside how two partners worked with their coach. And you know, being honest with this, this one person told me the reason why we had a coach is because it was like we were in divorce court. We were always arguing and bickering with each other and it was just breaking the business apart and I no longer wanted to be a part of it. So I thought this was a last ditch effort, and in fact, it was. I share this with you because I wanna help you get to the bottom of it. You've gotta have real conversations between each other, not just about the work, but about what culture really means to the company, what our values really mean to the company. And you gotta find alignment across these really big issues. You also gotta talk about burnout, and how much you know, work we have to do. These bigger issues that don't get addressed end up festering and they really cause a fracture in the relationship, and that causes the company to slow down, if not implode. So when you think about your relationship with your co-founder, your relationship with your CEO, COO, you wanna make sure that you're not just talking about work and about what needs to get done, and not just the problems, but about finding alignment to allow you to move together with speed and decisiveness. Finding alignment in what you believe in some of the core issues of this, just like a married couple would when they talk about kids or religion or lifestyle. You've got to find alignment around those things. And if you can't, then you need to have someone come in from the outside. I'd, I'd be willing to help you, but you've got to find this to move forward in a way that allows you to be more like partners and not just people who run a business together. I say all this with a smile because I know that you guys really try hard to drive the business forward, but my job is to put a spotlight on some of the things that you just aren't seeing 
And I see this way too much. And I want to help you become the partners that you really want to be. Help you become the leaders that your team deserves. That's what I strive to do for all of you. My name is Gene Hammett. I work with fast growth companies and those that want to, to be fast growth companies. Many of my clients from the Inc. 5000. I want to help you create the kind of growth that is predictable and systematized. And I want to help you become the leaders that drive this kind of growth and increase your overall value of the company. All this to be said, I want to help you individually make the changes you need to make in order to be the leader that your company needs. When you think of growth and you think of leadership, think of Growth Think Tank. As always, leave with courage. We'll see you next time.